All right, let me do a video out there for my XRP Ripple, you know, community, which is growing, by the way. I get the emails. Okay, look, there's a lot of people out there that are still doing the speculation when the court case ends. Obviously, when the court case ends, you're going to see a bump up because if Ripple wins, and then you're going to see a, a chop down happen if the government appeals it. Look, I'm going to tell you my honest, deep down, 100% opinion on what's the deal with the court case. I believe the court case, the government knows that they're not going to win. But that's not the plan. Okay? The plan was to delay this. The plan was to de de delay the price explosion on XRP. And the reason I believe that's the case is because behind the scenes... A lot of governments are still creating their, you know, their their digital dollar CBDC system. Um, their their whole infrastructure is not ready yet. Okay, now, like FedNow is about to just be released, but FedNow is not like what people think. FedNow is phase one. All FedNow is is doing it's 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 phase one of the future of you know, the government, the Fed, controlling money and your life. But for right now, it's just going to be moving money faster between, you know, different banks. So like, let's say, for example, if you move your money from, you know, Wells Fargo to Wells Fargo, let's say you move it from your account to your wife's account, but you're both on Wells Fargo, that's instantaneous. But if you move it from your account to, let's say, sending money to your brother in Bank of America, it takes a bit. If your employer pays you um, and he's with, I don't know, Golden State Bank of California and all of a sudden you're with Citibank, it takes a while for the money to get there. So Fed now, all it's going to do is just going to keep a ledger of money outside the bank. I'll give you an example of what that is and I'll get back to XRP. You go on your computer, you open up your online banking, and it's nothing more than a ledger of the money that you you deposit and the money that you withdraw. It's all it's all the bank is. They're just keeping that there. They offer services and stuff like that, mortgages and car loans, whatever, but whatever. But in the end, it's nothing more than just a ledger that the bank keeps. And the bank has to keep that ledger. When that ledger has to send money out to somewhere else, it has to communicate with another ledger, Bank of America, City, whatever it may be. Or you pay a bill, so the debits and credit have to go through a system, and it goes through the you know right now the Fed system before, which I can say without any you know like idea. I work on the securing the money moving system within the Federal Reserve infrastructure with Treasury in the 90s with Valisir. So at the end of the day, this is this world I'm speaking to. I know I helped design some of this shit. And at the end of the day, the infrastructure of it was at the same time, by the way, we were designing the HIPAA compliancy for medical records being secure. So there you go. You don't see the government popping up on my door saying, no, you didn't do that. Fact check me, motherfuckers. <laughs> I was right there like that. Uh, anyway, that being said, that system is just phase one because the, the, of, of the money control system. Right now, Fed now, when it goes live, it's just going to be working with keeping the ledger. The government's going to keep the ledger between institutions, okay? So the government's stepping in and they're gonna know who and what and money is where. Pretty nefarious, right? Phase two is when they're gonna start telling you how much you can spend and where you can't spend, and they're gonna dry up the money supply. I'll talk about that at a different date. But you may say, Lou, but how does that deal with, with XRP? Simple. Fed now, that ledger between banks and institutions, like you know, your electric company, your your you know Ford Auto leasing, your car payment, whatever it may be, paying your Geico insurance bill, all that it, that's internal. That's going to be handled through the Fed now system, keeping a ledger back and forth. When they have to move to the next level, which is what Swift does, which is you know international cross border, whatever, and they're going to move to the quant system. See that system. That, what do you think that thing is built with? 
Uh huh. Those XRP, XLM, yada yada. What do you think you, the EU zone? What coin did they use? They used the XLM as their stable coin to create their CBDC. So understand, they're not ready yet. They're not ready for the price of this thing to go up. Let me tell you something about the 1% ruling class, okay? Because I've been around some of these motherfuckers and they think like they're not from this planet, like they're above us. The last thing they want is for us to just come in and just do what, you know, what was done in the AMC and GameStop and just buy everything up. Because the difference is you can't, you can't make synthetics on a blockchain. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Once we have it and they need it, okay, not they want it, they need it. In order to do their further plans, the price is going to go bananas. So the court case, in my opinion, is nothing more than a delay tactic to move forward. If right now the biggest bank in the world, okay, Morgan, is digitizing everything and tokenizing everything in order to be able to do their entire new infrastructure, what do you think that's being built with? Like, for what, your grandmother's DNA? No, it's, it's being built with the Ripple XRP network because there's nothing else like this. There's nothing else like this in the entire digital payment e-system. There's none, and I'm from that world. You know, Elon was talking recently about, you know, X.com and his, his future, uh, his visions for what it was for payments all around the world, whatever. I was in Silicon Valley the same time Elon was. At the end of the day, it's like, I get it. I understand he's talking about the hard hardware infrastructure, whatever, but the technology that has to run this stuff, this XRP and Ripple, there's no way around it. So when people ask me, what are your thoughts? I'm like, I don't care about the court case. I know the future. I know what they need. And at the end of the day, right now is the time where they're trying to, no, XRP bad. Don't do it, whatever. But the future, let me tell you something. There is no bridge currency on the digital network of blockchain that can replace XRP. There's nothing, 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 nothing. XRP, excellent. I look at them as the same, same style of blockchain. But it's just, it, there's nothing. Other coins will make money, but this, the application that it is. So that's my take on it. So when you're talking about pricing, yeah, anticipate the, the, the government uh, losing the court case, them appealing it, delaying it further. Oh my God, the price is never gonna go. I don't care. The longer it stays cheap, I am happy because I'm gonna buy more. Good night, everybody.